Hello, good morning. It is Wednesday, 13th October. It is Veronica's birthday. <laughs> and it is, it's, I just said, it's Wednesday. What has happened? Um, I slept at 3.30 yesterday in the morning. And we just could not get sleep, Akhil and me both. Um, he was working. He's like, let me just work. And I was just uh, doing some research, creating mood boards. I was also working. But eventually we fell asleep and then I just woke up really late, 10 a.m. And now I'm having my breakfast. Poha, I'm sure you must have seen this like a thousand times. I eat poha a lot because I don't want to eat eggs. I'm trying to avoid eggs. It's not that I've stopped eating. I still eat eggs, but I try to choose something other than eggs. And I'm having my orange juice as usual. Today is not Mosambi, it's orange juice. Um, today is an exciting day. My mom is coming in like an hour or two. So I'm going to shower, get ready. Um, we stay really far apart from each other. So it's really hard for her to come here. So I go there mostly. But she's coming so we can film a YouTube video today. I want you guys to know her well. So I'm doing it with mom and Jake as well. But I'm not sure when Jake is coming. This is my notebook here. I write everything in here. It's almost over. So I'm going to write the questions that we need to discuss in today's video what other tasks do i need to complete in today's video so tasks for today hi guys my mom is here and uh, she said i'm uh, walking and she's like it smells so good makes it candles and yeah. bath and body works mix so i said and oh, just like hotel and i bought our like i want all the tiffin back huh? that's what she says when she comes to my house like i bought you food but give me tiffin back <laughs> mom so what all you have fruits I have Mosambi, mm. I have Kiwi. I'm enjoying that uh, yes. you sent me. What is it? Passion fruit. Passion fruit. Yeah. I still have bought one. I bought Why? it here. Oh, I have your one. Yeah. My mom and I love passion fruit, dude. Look at my mom's bags, you guys. Like, she loves market bags. I carry bags. everything. Look at her, the size of her bags, okay? This is from the Elko. Hill Road. Hill Road. But look at this. I can carry the whole Mumbai. I know, but Mama, it's time to Wherever get you I something know. fancy. You're, I you're... can't carry fancy. So you need to have one purse and one bag like this. Not this can't be your purse. Oh my God. You want passion fruit, that's why. I bought my own fruit, passion fruit. And orange. orange. You want fresh orange juice, she'll give you, huh? Squeeze karke in the evening. My mom literally uses five products and she's carried a whole makeup stash here exciting even though i send new stash she'll always stick to this neaty see brush but i'm not using not a single of them never touches brushes never it's okay like i get confused how you get confused with sambar powder rasam powder chili powder kashmir powder lunch time Everybody asks from where you get shandigay. Look at my mom eating her passion fruit. Yeah. She's nice and ponytail. So cute. We're gearing, mm. we're gearing up for the next video. Mom is doing my makeup. So I took out my makeup and now she's going to do my makeup. What? Are you nervous about this or you know what you're doing? Of course I'm nervous. Master. But my mom has been... You've been doing your makeup since you were yeah, like 16. Not like, not like yours. Contouring, contouring, contour. Contour, blush, highlight is on point. So, yeah, mother. I have my waffle chips. See my snack. Waffle chips. Look at my living room. <laughs> Akhil sits here and watches TV at night or reads a book at night when he doesn't get sleep. But then the cushions need to be made, dear. This goes on the table in the corner these are all my basic beauty bags that have come in my house literally seems like a go down or a warehouse <laughs> and yeah these are the bags you know in case i want to gift some stuff i wanted my own brand bags so they are here for now till i make some space for these babies that occupying a space in the hall we got a new dining table and those are the markings for it we got a six seater dining table instead of a four so i'm waiting to get that from my person he's customizing it akhil is making a new office so they are creating the table and it's going to come this weekend hopefully What's up? hi guys it is a sunday today okay 
and we are going to food hall um it's sort of a grocery store where you get good coffee and breakfast as well so yeah that's why we are driving it's 10 o'clock i think i don't know what time it is <laughs> it's quite early it's in the it's a morning. 7 eleven hello <laughs> yeah dal khichdi malts no our 7 eleven has dal <laughs> khichdi <laughs> so yeah that's what we're doing today what else are we doing after we are going to Raymond's to collect my suit. Yeah. And I don't recommend Raymond's for suits, but that's that. Um then we're going to the Apple store so I can convince Miles to buy me an iPad which I don't want. I mean I want but I don't need. He wants it. Just buy it. He's I, been thinking it's, about it's, this for It's so ages. stupid. It's like you know one of those things that Experiment. Yeah, it's an experiment. That's an expensive experiment. That's why I'm taking you, Miles. No. You're good at these things. I mean, if I want it, I buy it. I don't really put myself through. I just don't want very expensive things a lot of times. That's the only thing. That's like true. all these food and things, I don't stop myself only. I'm like hundred and twenty rupees a chip packet. Yeah, it's so what. Can I just say how expensive chip packets have become? A hundred and twenty rupees for. What waffle waffle mill. chips? Yeah, I mean they're really good, but shit, man, it's expensive. Yeah, because they have to stand out. Now they can't be like lays, you know. They are packaged much better and premium, and it's all about the design and packaging. Yeah, that chips Look at cannot. Look at the brand owner. That chip cannot sell for like twenty rupees. Like, would you imagine that chip selling for twenty rupees? No. It's such a plush packaging. But you know, forty, sixty, one twenty, so it's more than that. One hundred and twenty rupees for like, I don't know. That's oh, our samosa man. seller right there. <laughs> yeah, the samosa tea. <laughs> and then, that's the the tea place, the Rajwadi Chai. <laughs> that's where you get it from. <laughs> yeah.
so excited. Hi, Bubu. Hi, Bubu. <laughs> Good morning guys. It is 18th October 10, 22 a.m. to be precise. Um, good morning. It's a Monday and I woke up early today because I slept early yesterday. So I woke up at not early. Okay, early is 9 a.m. for me. <laughs> um, I do usually sleep late but I slept really well yesterday. I needed it um, and I had a really tiring day but fun day yesterday. I spent it with mom. So yes, back to work, back to a full-fledged productive week. Um, I'm dressed for the gym. I need to hit the gym in the next half an hour. So I'm getting my Mosambi juice and my bagel and cream cheese ready to go. And so I thought I would vlog this day. But I really want to try being positive for one week. <laughs> it's the hardest thing ever. Like being negative is so easy. You can blame it on someone. I and hope that someone would come and pacify and make me feel good. I really believe this line and I want to start living by it because I use it a lot. I tell people also stop depending on external factors for your happiness. I say that so many times because I read it in a book and it completely changed my life. I was like, oh my God, that is so true. What someone else is should not offend or bother me at all because it is an external person trying to tell me something that is not true. Yes, I want to run this experiment. I want to be super positive. I don't want to complain. I don't want to sulk. And I just want to see how that kind of a life goes, <laughs> even though I have there will be tons of negativity coming through. I'm not gonna be really hard on myself if I do turn out to be a little bit upset with something. I'm gonna just remind myself to come back to the positive side. So if I do that, then I've already, I'm, I've already won, you know, I'm on the path to getting better. I feel like in the middle, I kind of lost my plot and I started just, you know, getting irritated with everything every time. And I need to like, I had to check myself and be like, Mars, you can't depend on external factors to affect your mood and how you feel on the inside. So I need to really reflect and look look in. It's a great Monday morning. <laughs> I started off with a great note. I just realized like, why should I give any external being or thing power to control how I feel? I'm gonna try my best. If I do feel negative, I'm gonna just rewire and remember, like remind myself that, hey, no, hello, it's an external factor, relax. So yes, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna take you along with me and see how this goes. Uh, for now, I'm waiting for my brekkie and then we're gonna hit the gym. We're gonna do everything with a positive, happy mind and just that's how life should be and should go because there are so many things that could really affect how I feel and similarly to you guys, your relationships, your parents, your in-laws, your brothers, your sisters, your friends, anything and everything can affect how you feel that day and it could ruin your entire day. So I was like, you know what, can I just for once look inside myself and be confident about my decisions and confident about who I want to be and just be that person, start being the best version of yourself and showing up every single day. Reading all these books and you know listening to amazing people talk every day will not affect your life unless you put it into action. You know, you can read a ton of books and just be the same person again, which is never possible. If you read books, you're a changed person. But sometimes you just lose the plot, you know, you just waver and go off track. Um, everything that they're saying to lead a better life, you need to put it into action. Otherwise, what are you even doing? Don't even read the books, you know. I've got a new H&M package that is sitting there. I'm gonna do a little trial for you later on once. I come back from my gym. Thank you for listening. Let's start this day amazingly well and I need to start vlogging more. I keep leaving my camera every now and then. That's my bagel and cream cheese. This is from Food Hall. Picked it up yesterday for my breakfast and this is Mosambi juice. Cheers. What is the point if I'm upset? What is the point if I'm irritated? What is the point of life? If I'm living it so sulky and so angry and so irritated and not that I am those things. 90% of the time I'm in a I'm in a fantastic mood. Touch wood, praise God. Generally, like you know, generally you have those like irritable days. 
Why? Your mind is the most powerful thing you have right now. It's the most powerful tool that nobody can get in here. This only you have control and power over. Nobody should have keys to this because it's inside you and you get to do it better every single day. You get to rewire your brain every single day. Nobody gets to enter here. Oh, just got back from the gym. These are some of my new tights I picked out from Puma, clearly. Itna bada sa logo hai. So I just really like the color of this and it's new, it's medium, it's in the size M. And the best like workout wear at leisure wear for me is Puma when it comes to pants at least. This is from H&M, this is not the best bra again. Look how loose it is. Honestly, I don't know. I'm still on the lookout for good sports bras, but pants, dude, Puma is it. I tried Nike, but I sent all of them away because they were so tight. They're not inclusive with sizes at all, I feel. But Puma is stretchable even and you know, it just fits really well. It's light. I love the color. So yes. Hi! Okay, I'm trying some H&M outfits. This is also from H&M, but it's a shorts I just wear at home sometimes. Okay, this is the next one, but this is a round neck. You see what I mean? I love the V-neck more, but I just got this again because I like the color. I really like this forest green emerald sort of a color and this also I throw on at home sometimes um, sometimes I just wear it with joggers it's pretty pretty casual okay don't laugh but this is the next outfit it's just a longer t-shirt I bought a cropped one and now I got the longest one this is just honestly just a hangout at home in it's such a funny thing. I don't know if I'll keep this or not, but I feel like it's so comfy. It's cotton. It's white. It's very like night-ish wear or if I just want to wear this at home and I don't want to wear any pajamas, you know, I think this would be really nice, comfortable, chilled out outfit. It's, it's like a nighty. You know, the model was wearing it with sneakers and a shoulder bag and I'm like, no, 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 no. This is not my style. It's just for ghar. Again, I don't know about this. It looks cute, but it's not really my style again. I'm not into very girly, frilly dresses that are short. Um, I really like midi dresses that are below the knee. So I don't know why I got this. I think I got it for the summer just to throw it on, you know. This is the next item. It's just a sweater and I love black and white stripes. They're my favorite. Um, I just thought this was a cute little, you know, everyday. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's right in the middle. It's like a knitted, can you see this material? It's like a knit material. Um, and I thought it would be great for the, for my trips that I'm about to take in the snowy weather. A lot of you ask me where my night suits are from. They're mostly from H&M. The satin ones are all from H&M that you see on my stories. This is a cloth material, but the same sort of style. I'm wearing my shorts below. <laughs> That's why it's looking bulky. But yeah, it's a very comfortable nightwear. I just slip this on in the night and it looks really cute. It's a neutral color, so that's great. And yeah, I just needed one more night dress and now I have three satin night dress and one cloth one and that's all I wear every single time. Basic Mondays is happening where we're catching up and trying to, you know, Whoa. lock the future products. Yeah. Uh, everyone's wearing red today for some reason. They all coordinated. <laughs> and, and, uh, and I am like green, so we're Christmas. But this is not red, this is orange. It's in your red. Oh, it's God. Veronica's lost it officially. Yeah. Hi, guys. It is the evening. Well, not evening, but it is 9 30 in the night. And I just got done from work. I'm not even completed today's work actually, so I have to carry forward to tomorrow. And yeah, I just wanted to show you the table we got in the afternoon. Um, so I don't know if you remember, but I had this small little four-seater table from IKEA. I gave that to my mum and my brothers because they're just three people and they didn't have a dining table. 
um then we were without a dining table for over a month at least i don't know yeah so we have custom built this dining table from pinterest <laughs> pinterest is my holy grail like my whole house is pinterest se liya hua so i want to show you my dining table we still have to do some work on it this is just the first um not sample but the first round but i do want to do some changes into it that's the dining table it's taking so much space i agree but i really needed a six seater because i was not utilizing the four seater i just wasn't alexa switch on my bar lights yes um akhil likes this style of a chair mm -hmm. you know so he can fit into it now and this is the leg of it i'll show it to you in the daytime even better i think i just wanted to take you around today and yeah there is space here but what i would love to do is decorate this table now since it's like all woody and you know it feels really warm and cozy i want to set the table up with a little table runner and put like flower vase candles completely decorate the table and this is the bench we created for it actually we wanted a bench vibe but the thing is that this bench is bigger than the table that's what i'm not liking i want to shave this bit out so that my table can go in you know if it goes in then it's better because we are two people we're not a family of six so i can push this back and then i'll have more space to walk over here so yeah that's something i need to fix but it's okay i love it so far i think it's giving such a grand appearance um yes i know it's too big but hey i put up some bowl with potpourri and a mesa candle burning hello just had a shower um i have no gym today every alternate day is my workout today is 19th and yes i started this positive week yesterday and today itself my mood is already off it's just because of a thousand contributors you know it's bothering me but i need to i need to bounce back i need to remind myself that it's okay nothing external can control how i feel inside so i need to get in the better mood i need to get a coffee i need to pump up because honestly it's tuesday you know if i'm if i'm lazy like this if i'm down and upset and i give up on a tuesday nothing is going to work out right this week so yeah i just came on here to hold myself accountable and tell you guys that yeah i do get a little you know down and low as well because of a lot of other things that are going on work wise so I need to fix myself. I'm going to eat my passion fruit and hope that this gets me in a better mood. Having a hard day is fine. Having a hard morning is fine actually. I'm going to do some work. I'm going to go and clean some stuff around because I I'm getting the itch to clean and I will be back. I think I need to breathe, you know. And I need to be in a solid mood for the entire day because I want to be productive, baby. So Hi guys it is 22nd October and it is 1 p.m. and I have just been lounging around home it is a uh, friday today this week has been quite low in terms of energy i've been feeling really really low on energy i think it's because of my post covid vaccine um just been like how many days now i don't know 15 16 days and i think it's still lingering and i think that's why i haven't been able to film etc so i'm starting this vlog and today is going to be a little bit of an exciting vlog because i'm stepping out of my house and you're going to see different things that's what the plan is okay i always start a plan and the day goes entirely different but last night we slept at 4:35 we were at the airport we went to pick up akhil's co-founder he is here from paris and he's staying with us for 10 days so that is exciting someone i can host finally in the house so we went to pick him up the airport lines by the way are so frustrating it takes two and a half hours it took him two and a half hours to get out from the airport visa immigration baggage claim covid test so apparently even if you did do the rt pcr 72 hours prior before leaving your country you have to do it again in bombay which is so weird it's not weird it's just that super time consuming you know and he said they just take the swab at the tip of the nose and just like charge you money they don't even do it well so you guys i'm getting my studio done like you know i've been talking about this for eons and i've never got to it but a childhood friend of mine got in touch with me and she said you know what let me just do your studio she's an interior designer and she's such a fabulous person so i got in touch with her and yeah she's doing my entire studio it looks like a complete mess and such not mess it's more like clutter 
so I just needed someone to optimize this room space really well so that's why she's coming in and she's getting you know taking measurements of the entire room trying to see what will go where and I'm super super excited for my studio to be built one month from now it should be absolutely new I have so many exciting ideas that I'm finally gonna execute <laughs> And then I am going to West Side Home, which is so exciting. You guys know I got a new dining table and I want to decorate the dining table. So I really love West Side Home, has one of the best home decors possible. So I'm using my Alan Truman wand. I don't know if it's in stock yet. It almost never is for some reason. And I'm taking these crocodile clips I got from, I want to say Miniso. I want to say Miniso, I don't know. But what I do is typically I don't like curl my entire hair, I just take two sections, okay? Nobody's got time. And I have really thick hair, so I just take random sections and I just do this. I prefer like wavy hair over straight hair. It just doesn't sit really well for me. So just a little curl, can you see? So I just do that all over my hair and then like, you know, it's so much more, it has so much more body than the straight hair. I don't have anything against straight hair but it just doesn't sit well on my hair. Do you see the difference in this versus this? Like I still like how much body this has and how like fun it is, you know? And eventually it just looks better as the day passes by. I have egg curry, dhai, roti and South Indian papad. I'm done. I ate lunch and this is how my hair looks. You see how like scattered and messy and beautifully chaotic it looks? So yeah, it doesn't stay like this. It definitely dies down and you know, becomes all regular, but I just, I love this. It's like my favorite thing to do. Look at this texture. See, it's so like salt water vibes. Like you've been to the beach, it's tussled. So that's what I basically do after doing a blow dry. I just run a tong through it and it just settles down in some time and looks so voluminous, voluminous. I'm gonna go put on my lenses. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that because a lot of you said with these claws miles, how do you wear lenses? So I'm gonna show you that. And then I'm gonna get ready and just sit and wait for my Varsha baby to come here so then we can go for our west side run. Okay, let's do this baby So I'm taking this lens. I'm placing it in the palm of my hand I need a bag <laughs> Mars for you Who's having a new board? <laughs> I just want them They have everything. I'm going mad <laughs> I, that's why I can't come with Akhil, like, I can't. <laughs> it's entire. All nude. I'm all set to go to mom's house. Oh, so, you look amazing! Nothing there, but we'll like it. Looks so cute. Oh my god. 